Hello and welcome. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm sharing the cards I made with the black and white pattern paper that I cut and shared in the Challenge 10 introduction video a while back. And I'll also be sharing lots of other cards that I made with toner foil and a meat machine. Now in case you're not familiar with my quarterly card challenges, I provide a free PDF download that contains cutting guides for six sheets of pattern paper along with 15 sketches and instructions on how to make a bunch of cards. So the way this works is you will pick out six coordinating pattern papers and assign them to each of the color coded papers A through F. You'll cut the papers according to the cutting guides and sort the pieces for each of the 15 card sketches. You'll also need some matching colored cardstock for the layers and card bases. And then you can decorate the cards with whatever stamps, dies, ephemera, or embellishments that you'd like following the sketches. If you're new to my channel or you missed the introduction video, I will have it linked below in the description box. By sharing your creations, you can have a chance to win lots of crafty goodies throughout the quarter. This challenge runs from April 1st to June 30th of 2023. And for this quarter, there are 19 company prize sponsors with over $1,000 worth of prizes that will be given away throughout this challenge. To decorate my cards, I'm using my April of 2023 bonus printable, which includes three sheets of digital stamps and images and shapes that will work with the card sketches for challenge 10. The first sheet is all about birthdays. The second sheet is all about thank yous. And the third sheet is a combination of all occasion sentiments and images. Since the pattern paper I selected is black and white, I figured I would bring in some colored foil cardstock for some of the layers and also try out the new cheer foil from Pink and Main, which is a toner foil that can be used with a mink machine or laminator. What's great about digital stamps and images is that if you print them with a laser printer that uses toner, you can foil them. So I've had this mink machine for a while and I've only used it a few times, but I love the results and I just want to foil everything when I have it out. I've cut the second page of the printable and for the top half, I'm going to use the Streaks Rainbow Cheer Foil by Pink and Main. I've placed the foil pretty side up on top of the printed images and I'm putting it in the transfer folder. I've got my heat setting on number three on the machine. It only takes a few minutes to heat up. Now, if you're using a laminator with toner foil, you wanna make sure that you let it heat up really good first and also place what you're foiling inside of something to protect it. Now, I've sped this part of the video up quite a bit, so just know that it takes longer than what it seems here in my video. Now for my favorite part, the reveal. I love how beautiful these images turned out with this rainbow foil, especially that butterfly. I'll be using a few of these foiled images and sentiments on some of my challenge cards. Now the bottom half of the thank you images I foiled with some black foil that I had in my stash. And these birthday images, these foilable panels were included as a bonus in the Crafty Courtyard kit for March of 2023. And that's called Good Times. And I haven't used them yet, so I figured I'd foil these while I had my machine out. But Pink and Main has an exclusive pink mini mink machine available for purchase. I bought my larger mink machine a few years ago, and I used it a lot last year when my daughter got married when I made her bridal shower invitations. And up until now, I haven't used it since. Um, but I used more of that streak rainbow for a few of these panels and then some hot pink and blue on a few others. But I saved all of my negatives because I plan to use those again on some colored toner sheets so that I'm not wasting any of the foil. So at the time of recording this video, I didn't have any colored sheets, but I did have this black and white paper pad from Pink and Main that can be foiled. So I pulled out the solid black cardstock and trimmed it down some to be able to use it with the negatives of the streak rainbow sheets. It's a little hard to see on camera, but these turned out beautifully and I plan to use one of these panels as the background on one of my cards that I'll be sharing here in just a bit. But I went ahead and foiled one of the plaid pattern papers from the black and white paper pad with some cobalt blue foil. I also used the same blue on the bottom portion of the all occasion sheet from the printable. And I did a birthday panel in silver. It's kind of hard to see all of this beautiful shine on camera until I tilt it. But I bought the starter pack of foilables from Pink and Main. And these are eight and a half by 11. So I went ahead and just foiled everything. I foiled all these sheets. It has a variety of occasions both sentiments and images. I fold some more of the black and white pattern papers. 
and then some more images from the April bonus printable with um, the black toner sheets and I did some more backgrounds in red but you'll see all of the these uh, backgrounds turned into cards at the end of this video so let's get back to the cards that I started back at the beginning of April I went ahead and cut out all of my layers and I decided how I wanted to decorate each of the cards and so I have everything ready to go but I did go on vacation and I took these with me with the intention to record the card making process but I didn't have the right setup and the lighting was horrible so I made some of the cards already but I'll share what I did for card number one I used a die cut sticker from uh, Hobby Lobby and a teal piece of foil cardstock for the back panel and then I used one of the sentiments from my bonus printable um, for card number two again I used a teal piece of foil cardstock for the back panel I matted the checkered pattern with black cardstock and I glued it on top at an angle and then I trimmed off the edges and for the sentiment and image I used the second sheet in the April bonus printable with the butterfly and I fussy cut out the oval and I added some adhesive to the back to attach some black and white twine so that the edges of the loops showed and then I added some foam tape to the back for some dimension and then for card number three I kept this one black and white I already glued down the black layer on the far left plus the two smaller rectangle pieces on top and I layered the larger piece on black also I'll be gluing this on top so that the smaller pieces look like one continuous piece but before I do I added two strips of white Love from Lizzie peel off stickers on each side. They're about an eighth of an inch wide, so you could always use skinny strips of cardstock instead if you don't have any stickers. I glued the image with the kitty in the middle, and then I finished the card off with three black enamel dots from Cat Scrappiness, who's another one of our Challenge 10 prize sponsors. Card number four is already put together, but I used a yellow card base added a black layer and then glued the two pattern paper pieces on top and the bottom and then I placed that same yellow cardstock for the piece in the middle and I used the big thank you so much in the rectangle and it was foiled with black foil and then I added a black enamel dot to the right you can't really see the shine but I just love how quick and easy these cards are card number five is also already put together and this is another one where I didn't add any color I used white cardstock that was embossed and glued directly onto a black card base and black for the layer for the pattern paper piece I fussy cut out the scallop circle sentiment that says just for you and that was also foiled with black toner foil and then I added some foam tape to the back another quick and easy card card six is also already assembled I use a teal green card base and I cut out the little doggy peeking over the bottom edge that says happy birthday from the bonus printable and to finish it off I added three black enamel dots in the top right corner for card seven I used a piece of teal foil cardstock for the bottom layer for the pattern paper piece that measures three and three quarter by five I measured down to one and a half inches on the right side I marked it with a pencil and I cut it in from the right edge one and a half inches and then I folded back the flaps I added a little bit of glue to hold them back and then for the sentiment I used one of the circle sentiments from page one of the bonus printable that I cut out with a circle punch and to glue this down I used some Kolal 3D glue I think that's how you say it I just got this not too long ago and I'm still learning how to use it but you have this little syringe here that you squeeze the glue into making sure to leave space to put the pusher piece back in but since this circle is going on an unlevel surface I figured I would try this here instead of using foam tape so I just added some glue to the back of the circle and then once I placed it down I added some more glue underneath on the right side to help make it level for card eight I glued down all of the pieces starting with the top and bottom triangles I placed a circle with a sentiment and confetti image from the first page of the printable on top of that middle square and again I added enamel dots to finish it off as shown on the sketch and I love how this one turned out card nine is another black and white only card that's already put together I embossed white cardstock for that back panel and I glued that onto a black card base I cut out banners from the three rectangle pieces and for the sentiment I used the scalloped image that says happy birthday from page one of the bonus printable and I glued everything flat so that it would be easier for mailing 
For cards 10, 11, and 12, these are all very similar. I mentioned in another Challenge 10 video that it's easier to cut these panels at the same time so that they line up correctly. And boy, does it make this so much easier. I already have these pieces glued down, so I'm just going to finish putting them together. For card 10, I used a thank you image from page 2 of the bonus printable that was foiled with red toner foil. And to tie this together, I'm using some red foil peel-off stickers along the edges where the pattern paper pieces meet. And I'm using 3D glue again, mainly to see how different it would be from foam tape. It gives it some dimension, but not too much where it would make it too thick to go through the mail. And then for card 11, I kept this one black and white. So I used black foil peel-off stickers instead. And basically the same thing, except I used a happy birthday sentiment in black and white. And then for card 12, I made this one just like card 10 using that red foil and another circle thank you image that was foiled in red. Card 13 is a gatefold card with a belly band. I already glued down these triangle pieces to the flaps. This is another one that works much better when you cut out both pieces of paper at the same time so they line up. For instructions on how to make a gatefold card, I will link to another video I made a while back. I used black peel-off stickers to break up the pattern paper. I also used yellow heavyweight cardstock for the sleeve. I glued the circle sentiment on top where the ends overlapped, and then I realized that it needed a little something extra, so I just added some black peel-off stickers along the top and the bottom. And since I use a black card base, I'll just need to add a white panel on the inside. But I finished this off by adding a 3DB sticker. Card 14 is already put together. I added two of the flowers and a circle thank you sentiment from page two of the bonus printable. All of these were foiled with the streak rainbow toner foil. And the last card, number 15, this is where I used the reverse piece of streak rainbow foil from the birthday images foilable panels that I showed earlier that I put on black toner cardstock for the back panel. I used teal foil cardstock for the middle pattern paper piece. The happy birthday sentiment was also foiled with rainbow foil, and this is matted with black cardstock. I decided not to add the three enamel dots at the bottom since there's a lot going on with that background. I just love how all these cards turned out. They were really quick and easy to make and a little simpler than what I've done in the past, so it was a nice change. I think having the sentiments already in the sizes and shapes that match the card sketches played a big part in making these go so quick. So now I will show you the cards that I made with all of the foiled sentiments and backgrounds that I showed earlier. These were made with a combination of foil card stock, foil card bases, and the foiled panels and sentiments along with several different dies from my stash. If you'd like access to download the April 2023 bonus printable, join my Patreon membership program as an all access or VIP patron. As an official patron for only $5 a month, you get access to previous archived card challenges. Access to download bonus content starts at the $10 a month tier. These bonus printables include digital stamps and images, card tutorials, digital papers, card making kits, and more. I will place a link in the description box below. There's also a QR code on the last page of the free printable for Challenge 10 that you can scan and it will take you directly to the page where you can sign up. All patrons receive a handmade card from me each month, no matter what tier you choose. And remember that you can cancel at any time. I have some additional benefits starting next quarter for patrons, so I hope you'll consider joining my membership program. Remember, Challenge 10 runs through June 30th of 2023, so you still have time to create your cards and get them posted to Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group or uploaded to my form. If you think you might give this challenge a try, leave me a comment. I'd also like to know which card from this video is your favorite. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. I'd like to thank all of my current patrons that are shown here. Your support really means a lot and it helps to cover the expenses involved in running the quarterly card challenges and shipping out all of the prizes. I appreciate you watching this video. I can't wait to see what you create and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.